heart. Oh God. people see a lady in a white dress in the mill and okay. sometimes she comes outside on the lawn. Oh does she? Okay. And also a man in all in white also in the mill. Okay. And that's what a mill would have worn. There was a little boy who was here with his mom and he asked if he could go in the mill. Okay. And so he went upstairs and came running back out and told his mom that this scary man up there he didn't like him. Oh. And there was nobody in there. <laughs> People like they have to leave the mill because they're yeah, getting lightheaded and sick. And okay, interesting. So, we'll have to see because, like, we're very sensitive to spiritual energy. So, like, I'm just wondering, like, what would we think of? Most people say our spirits are nice, which nothing bad has ever happened to me here. I've been here That's alone good. at night. <laughs> um, but they say sometimes darker spirits are in the barn and down by the fire pit. I don't know of like tragic deaths or anything. There was a little girl who drowned in the ponds at the tannery, which was like the buildings behind the mill. Okay. There's like ponds of a rock building. But yeah. I've been like super like, oh my gosh, demons. Like, no, <laughs> no, nothing like that. So the only building original to the site is the mill. We heard like a lot of people investigate here. Like, have they told you any creepy stories or anything? Um, they've seen like, uh, I think it's an Indian, just a tall, dark guy. They said he's like seven feet tall and he likes you to ask permission before you cross the bridge to go across. A lot of people find stuff in the schoolhouse, but it really wasn't the schoolhouse. It was just a granary, but we have a school desk and stuff over there. This mill was once known as Benson's Mill in 1849, belonging to Thomas Lee and his family before it was fully constructed to the Benson Grist Mill in 1854 by Ezra Taft Benson. He was directed by church president Brigham Young to travel to Tooele Valley and build a grist mill to serve pioneers settling in the area. So in 1854 to the 1940s, the mill processed wheat and corn. As we explore the mill before our investigation, Ivan captures this orb leaving this hidden room's window on the second floor, and this is right after I see a face of an old man in that same window. We believe that this location may include residual or stored energy, which is energy that is normally left behind by those who reside in an area. They may not be present, but their energies are, repeating the events of their lives. But we do wonder if there is something darker here or other spirits that have not left. We are officially locked down. While Ben and Ivan lock down the property, the rest of the group is preparing our equipment for the long night ahead. When suddenly, Shirsten and I see a full body apparition manifest and walk down a pathway. Unfortunately, our cameras were not on yet, but Shirsten, Brianne, and I run to the spot to investigate. I was like, okay, no, I didn't see anything, but dude. And Can there's nothing up over and here? And then my brain registered, um, that was something. Where did Ivan go? I was skinny. I need to know where Ivan and Ben are. Do you have the... Yeah, it was skinny, and it was like a big white apparition walking right here. Just do do do. Oh, I wish I had my camera rolling for that. I didn't even register that it was something until you stood up. Yeah, well, I, at first I was like, Ivan? And then I was like, wait, no. Where are they going? Oh, what was that? so weird it's like someone's appearing and disappearing interesting. 
You see that dark spot there? It looked that looked like somebody was like appearing and disappearing. I want to see if we can catch this owl. Supposedly you're supposed to see a woman dressed in a white dress walking out of here. That would be really cool. Ivan. Yeah? Are you guys just right here? No, we were up by the mill. What were, what were you just talking about? <laughs> yeah. We just saw one down by the water. We were sitting right there, and this apparition like formed right here. It went do, 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 and then it disappeared. As we return back to Nexus, Ivan decides to film in the direction that the apparition was seen as we finish prepping our equipment. A few minutes pass by, and we capture something strange yet amazing. Direct your attention to the corner of the pavilion table. We are occupied, but you can clearly see something manifest next to the tree. After reviewing this footage many times, we believe that this is a pair of legs walking toward us and then disappearing. We want to point out there is nothing in this spot, it is just grass and one tree beside it. Notice when this car passes, you can see reflective surfaces shine from their headlights, but whatever this is, it was not highlighted again. This camera rolled for over 30 minutes, never capturing the same thing, with many cars passing. We believe this to be paranormal, but we leave it as unexplained. While we are unaware of this capture, we split off into a few groups exploring the areas surrounding the mill. Shearson and I go to the schoolhouse, which is supposedly one of the more haunted buildings on this property. But I was thinking of <laughs> School's in session! <laughs> I'm playing hooky. <laughs> My husband's right over there. Okay. We are recording. Alright, this is me walking. Okay. And so we're gonna sit very, very still. Are there any children in here? I actually just got an orb, Lisa. I have a little device in my hand. And if you come to this device, you can actually speak into it. Alice, are you still on this property? Is there any little kids that want to come and speak to us? You can come and look into this little blinking red light. Can you tell me your name? Is Alice still here? We heard that you drowned, Alice. Can you come speak to us? I just got a blinking one. I got one earlier, and there's something Yeah, I just had like a blinking one come toward me, oh, and I caught that on camera. Alice, is that you that I just caught on the camera coming toward me? My name is Alyssa. Can you tell me your name? Can you say her name?
That was not a bug. That was another orb. What's really cool about these orbs, guys, is they're coming very they're small, small <laughs> as if they're like a child. Yeah. What's your favorite toy? Do you like dolls? There is a man talking, that's Ivan. I really like board games. Does anybody else like board games in here? See this orb. I think that's Ivan. I really like board games. Does anybody else like board games in here? See this orb. What did they get? There was an orb mm -hmm. coming right next to my backpack, kind of swirling around. And that's why I knew it wasn't a bug, because it was it's blinking. Yeah. yeah, it was looking at my... Oh, I have f***ing chills, dude. It was looking at my backpack, and then it just disappeared in the back, my backpack. And I kept trying to follow it to see if it was a bug, but... It's, it's blinking like a f***ing orb. To show you guys. And if there was a bug in here, no bug. we would see the wings. Shearson and I searched this area. We did not find any bugs like fireflies or lightning bugs, and there was nothing to explain this blinking orb. Even if this was dust, dust does not blink, and it does not look like that either. It looks like a flurry of snow on camera. So we believe that this is a spiritual orb since we could not find a cause. That was the coolest thing I've ever captured with it swirling around, kind of looking at my gear. And I think it wants to talk through the spirit box, but I don't have the cord. That's exactly it. The spirit box is right there. Okay, I'm going to get back on Okay. After we radio Ivan, we decide to switch out groups while Shearson and I retrieve the spirit box cord. Ivan and Carter stay in the schoolhouse to see if they can capture further activity, and almost immediately they capture a weird mist by the desk in the corner. Is there anybody in here? You can talk to us while they go get the uh, cord for the spirit box. It was weird, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw a face like right here, but it was like a child. It was like right here, it was like this pale white face over to my side, that's why I turned the camera that way, but I couldn't see anything. I don't know if that was just an actual manifestation or if that was my mind trying to fill in the gaps, you know? Are you good or are you bad? Do you like that this is now a schoolhouse? Was that you? Shearston, Brienne, Michael, and I return, and we immediately start trying to communicate through the spirit box. My camera does capture two odd anomalies in the same spot as before, moving toward Michael. It appears the spirits have left, and we do as well. 
Shearson, Ben, and I decide to head for the mill while the rest of the crew goes into the barn. Got the one. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? You heard that too, Alyssa, right? I think that was the owl. Are you sure? I don't know. That was that was either an owl or a bat. Owl. Oh, oh, thanks, God. buddy. God, heart attack. Well, I thought it was something. I thought it was a hiss. I thought it was a hiss. Okay, y'all. Just so you know, there's an owl in here. <sighs> Probably give the ghost a laugh. Okay. Okay. Is anybody in here? Yeah, it said computer. computer. Yeah, this is kind of like a computer. You can talk through it. It's the same man, I don't know what he said though. The two voices that come through are amazing. This same man asks if we are recording, which means this is an intelligent spirit. This other voice comes through and it's pretty eerie. We wonder if he is talking about women from the past, maybe from a tragic accident that need help, or maybe he's telling other spirits to help Shearson and I, but we are not too sure. What is your name in this mill? Jim. Hello, Jim. Did you hear that? Do you like us being in here? I don't know what he said. I think he, I think he said stop. Are you wanting us to stop talking to you? Yeah. I don't know if that was a car crash. It sounded like it was a car crash. Hello? I don't have my flashlight on. Jim, are you still here? I think it vaguely said, like very faintly said, "Here." Yeah. I Did you hear I that? Okay. But... Yeah. Jim, my name is Shearson. Did you work here? Yes. Okay. It's very faint, but he said yes. Did you like working here, Jim? Is that more walking? We're getting more creeps from over here. And the owls are. Yeah, I just don't know if the owl is walking or. Jim! What is the afterlife the like? No other voices come through the spirit box on the third floor, so we head down to the first floor. Can you knock on something to tell me you're here? I'm gonna leave my name on your book. I think that is that a visitor book? Is that it what is. that is? Yeah. I was wondering what that was. What's the reason? Uh, now it's the third. Second. Now it's the third. third. So yes. Midnight. You heard that? Whoa. 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 I hope that wasn't my camera that they knocked over. That sounded up, not down. Yeah. That was up. 
We are not positive if this loud bang is an owl knocking something over or if it is something paranormal, but it was heavy enough to rattle the whole upstairs floor. While we are reacting to this, Ivan has an encounter at the bridge. Could you show yourself to us so that we may ask for permission to cross? Oh. 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 Oh, my heart. Oh, God. Oh, I need to sit for a second. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. What is it? Like a like a burn thing? Oh no. Oh, that was weird. What did it feel like? Oh, the best way to describe it, it felt like someone like jabbed my heart. <laughs> was it very nice? Like a finger just like just like pokes you through the chest. Maybe that like a small pressure. Oh. That wasn't very nice. After Ivan's freaky experience, he joins us with the rest of the group in the mill. He and Carter go to the basement while the rest of us go to the second level. Jim, are you here? Did you hear yes. him? Yep, that was him. Just to confirm you are talking to a spirit, what's your favorite color? Can you give me a color? The only thing that looked like it may have been knocked over was that one big thing, but... How many spirits are in this mill right now? Three! Did you hear that? That was so clear! The tap? The bang? Yeah, you can see the bang. I heard the bang. They're in here right now? So there are three spirits in here. Are you evil? You okay, Ivan? What are you feeling? Just tired or drained or Are you affecting him? This mist dives towards Ivan, and we wonder if we just captured the spirit that is causing him to feel drained. Are you affecting Ben's chest, making it really hot? Where did you go? Yeah, I don't know what she said. It was very unclear, but... Are you all upstairs? Can you stomp? Or make a noise? The voices stop, and we decide to head for the basement while Ivan stays on the first floor to try an EVP session by himself. How many people are in the basement right now?
Who attacked me outside? Let me see here. The activity ceases and we decide to head back to Nexus. There we make a game plan for witching hour, or 3 a.m., when the veil will be at its thinnest. However, while we are all outside, our second floor ghost cam begins to capture odd anomalies in the mill. After the camera captures these odd anomalies, we then capture something else that is very amazing. Bring your gaze down to the bottom middle of the screen. This mist is captured walking down the hallway as if it's moving from side to side. Keep in mind we are all outside and this spot doesn't have any windows or lights moving around it. This mist is phenomenal and we are unable to explain it. Our group splits into three teams while this is going on and we focus on the most haunted buildings around us. Ben stays at Nexus to keep an eye around the buildings while Carter and I start in the schoolhouse. Shearson and Michael go to the barn and Brianne and Ivan head back to the mill. Alice, I brought my doll. Did you want to play with her? Are there any children in here? There's any kids? Come on into the schoolhouse. I wonder if that bell will actually do anything. Pools in session. Does anybody want to volunteer and write on the board? You have permission to go up there. When this unexplained man speaks, it is silent in the schoolhouse and captured only on our camera's audio. Carter and I don't hear anything in this moment, but it is very interesting. That ghost could really just watch us from over there. Yeah. This whole time. Hello, is anybody here? Why are you laughing at us? 
While the other groups are capturing activity, Carter and I are not experiencing anything at the moment at the schoolhouse, so we decide to head for the ruins of Alice's home. Yeah, so it actually was her house, um, and then, like, I think it burned down, like, three times. They did all the wool and all that, so, and it caught fire, like, three times, so they kind of gave up and then just, like, left. See, like, that, yeah, that, that is from, yeah, that is from the burn. I'm gonna take this off night vision to show that if I can see it. But yeah, this is charred wood, charred wood. from when it got, to cement. Yeah. yeah, from when it burned down. Yep. That's crazy. That's cool. Yeah, that's really awesome. Oh yeah, on this cement as well. While Carter and I explore the ruins, Ivan and Brienne in the mill get a close-up encounter with the owl. Something massive and white just flew across. Okay, yeah, I actually saw it too. So, I didn't get it on camera, but I saw it. I think it was the owl. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. It is an owl. Holy mother. It's a quiet f***ing <laughs> owl. Oh, sorry. Oh that scared me. No, <laughs> that scared me. It's right up there. You see at the top? Oh, yeah, yep. Yep. We, we can debunk that. It was an owl, but oh my god, that scared that me. That scared me. me. All so... I saw was this big white thing fly across. <laughs> During Ivan and Brienne's close-up owl interaction, Shirsten and Michael decide to bring Ben to the barn to investigate the laugh that came through the spirit box. And it was a woman. It was a woman. It was distinctly a woman saying, stop. Yeah. Like, don't go in there. When Shearston, Ben, and Michael are about to enter the barn, a clear voice tells them to stop. Once this happens, Ben feels a presence rush them. We wonder if this woman's spirit is warning them to stop and not enter the barn or something bad will happen. What makes this compelling is Michael is also receiving very odd interference on the video camera. At the same time the investigators in the barn are dealing with this, Brienne and Ivan in the mill are sensing that something has changed in energy. Ivan then captures something creepy at the other end of the hall as the ghost cam battery dies. This tall, dark shadow peeks around the corner and disappears. You can see it's almost as if it's a head poking around the corner and right after this is captured there are creepy noises that follow. Who's that? That was definitely not an owl. No. Alright, Don. How do you feel about going first? <laughs> I was about to ask you the same thing, Brianna. Oh, I, I said, bet you were. Your well, camera... la la ladies before gentlemen, right? Mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. Except your camera's better. Yeah. So, theoretically, a cow. A cow. Maybe you should turn off the bright light. I don't think they've come at it. Let's back up to it. What the f Okay. Um, My uh, UV light just died. I think the light is a good idea. Should I turn it off? Is that the owl or is that something else? Oh my god, I don't know. Hand me the radio. That was a scary sound. 
Hey, Ben. Hi, Ben. What's up? We need your assistance at the mill. We're hearing a noise by the stairs. We're not sure if it's the owl because it flew out inside the mill towards the stairs. And we can't get back to uh, the staircase. Are you upstairs or downstairs? Second level. You don't see anything? What? Oof. That's okay. Okay. Duck. Slow. Well, fast will probably scare it. Yeah, it's been 28 minutes. Dude, you're kidding? You didn't see any animals? There's nothing. That was like... Guys, that was like really scary. What? This one? Yeah. What was it? No, it literally sounded like... Really? Like... Like over here? Ben returns to Nexus with our dead camera while the others explore the area and the third floor for an indication that the owl is in the building. They don't find anything or hear the owl anymore, which they find odd. When we are near the owl in the mill, you can clearly hear it squawking through the entire investigation. But now there is nothing to explain what these scratching noises were. We aren't saying the noises captured our ghosts, but they aren't able to explain the noises as an owl or other animals in this moment. Okay, wait, guys. Everything's like super dark. If that yeah. wasn't an animal, and that was a ghost going like, like, cause it yeah. sounded like, what did it sound like? It sounded like, like a, a claw, like, like tapping a... on wood. Like going. But it scratched too. that. That was really scary sound. The end of the night is nearing, and we decide to have everyone investigate the mill for the remainder of the night. Shearson and Ben stay back at Nexus, but the rest of us go to the second floor of the mill where the most activity was. Oh, wow. Hold on, let me see if... It went up to four. It went up to four. Is it a one right now? And it's not being affected by this. Oh, oh, three, four, three, four. It's not this, is it? It's, it doesn't look like it. This and three, four. Is anybody here? Four! Did you just hear that come through the spirit box? Yeah. Yeah, it said four. That was awesome! <laughs> Yeah, that was really cool. That was really cool. <laughs> it said four and it was on a base four. Oh yeah. The field is changing too. In there. That was crazy cool. Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it say four again? Yeah. Are you changing it to four? Almost immediately when we sit down, the baseline electromagnetic field around us spikes from a zero to a four. We are not sure if this is because we are higher in the air, around any form of electricity, or if this is a presence, but we do find it compelling that spirits are talking with us as the field changes, indicating that this may be them messing with the energy around us. It's like it's sitting there because it's still at a four. Can you give me a color? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. What is screeching above us, the animal? What? It's 
footsteps. We stop receiving voices in the back corner of the second floor and head for the third floor. How many spirits are here with us right now? Seven. Seven. Let's have antagonizing the owls. Yeah. Energy just completely shifts. We haven't, I haven't been this way yet. I'm gonna go this way. What's your name? While I explore the back area of the third floor, Brienne is capturing large spikes on our EMF detector, indicating that spiritual energy is messing with the field. It is incredible to be able to capture the different energies we are feeling. Like it, it just hit 20, you saw that? Oh, 33. 33. But I don't have any metal in my body. 28. Or electricity. I'm well, sure you do, you have electrons. Well, too many apparently. <laughs> yeah. That's fishy. I, I'm pretty sure it's not electrons that are setting us off. The Benson Grist Mill gave us phenomenal evidence, and it's clear that the spirits on this property have not left. We believe we contacted many spirits on the other side from this visual and audio evidence we captured. We hope one day to return, and hopefully we won't be bothering owls next time.